you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting subscribing sharing and listening to all my presentations today the focus will be on Meflo Queen Meflo Queen could come under different brand names like Larian, Meflo Queen, Larry Mef, Hello Queen, Malari Queen, Malari Vent T, Mephilium, or Melopha. Belongs to the class of medications known as Antimalaria agent, a member of four methanol quinolines. Will appear in forms of tablet per aura as hydrochloride. In that case, it could be generic, 250 milligrams. Administration. For prophylaxis, we give mefloquine once weekly to be taken on a specific day of the week, e.g., every Sunday or every Monday. If vomiting occurs within 30 minutes of ingestion of the tablet, we have to give another full dose. If vomiting occurs within 30 minutes to 60 minutes, we can give just half of the dose already given above once again. Still on administration, you can crush and put this medication in milk, water, or better still, you swallow whole. In children, you can give this medication with applesauce, milk, water, chocolate syrup, and jelly because it is bitter and kids won't like to take stuff that is bitter. Diet. Some will say, why diet here with mefloquin? Yeah. It must be taken with food and generous fluid, particularly water. Mechanism of action. Mefloquine is similar to quinine in structure. It is capable of destroying the essential blood forms of Plasmodium falciparum and Plasmodium vivus. You can check the full presentation on the life cycle of Plasmodium right here. Drug drug interaction. Because I don't know the drugs you may be on and those that you may take after, let that conversation be between you and your pharmacist or through your physician. Now, or your physician can make that you know, connection for you. You may also contact the clinical pharmacologist. The list is pretty long. Monitoring. We have to do liver function tests periodically and also have neuropsychiatry evaluation. Why that? You know in a bit. Ocular examination is pretty important, so referral to ophthalmologist will be needed. Uses of mefloquine. For both prophylaxis and treatment of uncomplicated malaria, particularly for plasmodium malaria, Plasmodium nulesi, Plasmodium ova, and Plasmodium falciparum. Pregnancy and breastfeeding, as it is not going to be affecting mefloquine or not. It is better not to use mefloquine if other suitable antimalaria agents are available. That, if you run into you know the drought of suitable anti-malaria agents and all you have available is mefloquine and the woman is pregnant or breastfeeding you may still use it but you you understand that lower dosage less frequency and of course you keep an eye on the woman and the baby if it is a severe malaria and intravenous anti-malaria is not available then you can use mefloquine Dosing. For prophylaxis, you can give mefloquine 250 mg once a week. And you have to start at two weeks before the individual went back on the trip to the endemic zone. While there, I mean, either in Sub Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, India, and so on, the individual should continue. 250 milligram once a week while away and non-stop 
until fourth week upon arrival or return to the country of origin. For malaria treatment, let me indicate here, this is going to be for only uncomplicated malaria, okay? Don't worry, there will be a self-representation on how to handle severe or complicated malaria. Be, you know, checking my channel for that. So, for uncomplicated malaria, I can give mefloquine 750 milligram one dose. 12 hours later, you can give the same mefloquine 500 milligram. Then, you give primaquine. And why that? To prevent relapse. If you are dealing with Plasmodium boval and Plasmodium vivus, you can check my channel here for full presentation on Prima Coin right here. In pediatric age group, dosing will be weight based. So grab your calculator, get the weight, and then 5 mg per kilogram per dose once weekly. The maximum you can give in pediatric age group is 250 mg weekly. For example, kids between 10 and 19 kg, you can give a quarter of 250 mg tablet, which will be 62.5 mg every week. For kids 20 to 30 kg, you can give half of 250 mg tablet, which is 125 every week. For 30 to 45, give 75% of the 250 milligram tablet as 187 milligram every week. For kids greater than 45 kg, you just give adult dose at 250 milligram every week. One is never give on to anyone with the following conditions. In other words, Anyone diagnosed with the following conditions should not, should not, I repeat, should not take mefloquine. Psychosis, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, seizures disorders. Warnings, neuropsychiatry effects. So neuropsychiatry issues may persist after the use of mefloquine such as anxiety, psychosis, paranoia, hallucinations, suicidal ideations, and even from suicide. Let me pause here. This is pretty serious, right? So, we need the psychiatrist to help before you can prescribe this medication. And anyone who must have traveled to endemic zones for whatever reason, either you know, tourism, or as a tourist, or military officials, or United Nation aides, or whatever, and they are on this medication for a long time, oh wow, that may be you know, very serious in them, and then for the rest of their lives, they may battle with some of these issues. And remember, there may be suicide. Still on warnings, other neural problems are dizziness, vertigo, tinnitus, loss of balance, and confusion. Ocular problems are optic neuropathy, retinal disorders, and we have to make a referral to ophthalmologists. You can't be involved in tasks requiring alertness, for example, driving, piloting, or operating machines. You must use Prima Queen after a complete dose of mefloquine. In severe plasmodium falciparum malaria, you have to use intravenous anti-malaria and then start mefloquine. Still part of the warnings is we should remember that there may be a granulocytosis and a plastic anemia. It may also cause sinus bradycardia or even heart block. It may prolong the QT, so we don't use this medication concomitantly with other medications that could prolong the QT. For example, this tree, and the list has not ended with this. 
So let me talk a little bit more about QT prolongation. When we have this problem, QT prolongation, that may degenerate to Tosadi point. Tosadi point may degenerate to ventricular tachycardia that could be monomorphic and later become polymorphic. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, if not corrected, will lead to ventricular fibrillation. If there is no defibrillation, it may lead to no, asystole. With asystole, we have to institute advanced cardiac life support to resuscitate, bring the heart back. If that is not done, the patient will end up in a mall. So mefloquine can kill. Remember, hypersensitivity reaction is a possibility here. And be careful in patients with easy or scissors or psychiatry disorder. Extra care in the face of hepatic impairment and vomiting can lead to treatment failure. That's why I say if the individual vomits before 30 minutes, just repeat the dose. If it is after 30 minutes up to one hour and the individual vomits, then give half of the full dose you've given. Contraindications. This is when and where we cannot use mefloquine. We cannot use this medication if there's hypersensitivity to mefloquine or quinine or quinidine. They belong to the same family. If there's hypersensitivity to any components of his formulation, then take mefloquine off the table. In people with seizure disorders, never use mefloquine in them. Anyone already diagnosed with psychiatric disorder or disorders, don't use mefloquine in them, particularly schizophrenia, Depressions and psychosis. Adverse reactions. Confusion. Abnormal dreams. Memory impairment. Visual disturbance. Drowsiness. Insomnia. Other possible adverse reactions will be vomiting, chest pain, fatigue, muscle cramps, prolonged QT. Remember, I've explained what could happen when there will be prolonged QT. So you can pause. And rewind back. EKG abnormal waves, that is not now surprising given that there will be prolonged QT leading to fatal arrhythmia. Still an adverse reaction, there might be ataxia and of course hypersensitivity reactions. Here we may be faced with drugs, that is drug rash with isnophilia and systemic symptoms. There may be Stevie Johnson syndrome or toxic edema necrolysis. All these could lead to death. Other adverse reactions include diarrhea, burning sensation, vertigo, asthenia, dyspnea, and decreased platelets. Finally, I will be ending this presentation on mefloquine with reference to resistance to this medication that could be found in Southeast Asia. That's not a good news, right? Don't want to hear the word resistance to medication because it's not going to do anything you know, in people that will take it in that region. With that, I've come to the end of this representation. This is a good medication, right? for prophylaxis and uncomplicated malaria, right? But we must, we must take into consideration the possible trouble associated with this medication, particularly scissors or neuropsychiatry issues. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this. Remember to subscribe to my channel and check this channel for more medications against malaria. I appreciate it.